Ingrid yeah, from Ingrid Inspiration. Sorry, I'm just turning my camera. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been quite a while. I am so sorry. I haven't been talking to you, but I've been so busy, and I'm not even going to go into the health department. Uh, so it just holds some that I'm not coughing. <laughs> Oh, I've got quite a few things to tell you and to share with you. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's jump right in. Um, first of all, yes, I want to thank you for being here and um, yeah, be with me being on so little. I am so sorry, really. Um, like I said, I, I've been busy and uh, my health, you know, it's up and down. One moment I'm all firing all cylinders and the next moment the tires are flat the wheels are coming off <laughs> so thank you very much for sticking with me and uh, watching my video okay we're gonna wrap, jump right in first of all i'm wearing one of my own uh, wearables it's the first time that i made something for myself uh, apart now from shawls that I can wear, you know, I can put my arms through and wear. And this is the duster coat from by the day. And it was a delight to make, not just because of the pattern, because that was lovely to make. It's easy to make, and if I can make it, you can make it. But I've made it with my all-time favorite yarn, Starcraft, specialty gay. And this is the, the pattern, if you can see there. And um, it's short sleeved, as you can see, or oh, good design, I don't know if you can see this. And it was made in Stylecraft Special DK Emperor. So soft to work with, and I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. The pattern is really, um, let me see if you can. Yeah, I think you can see this. But I will definitely I will link this down below in the description box. And um, if you don't know, obviously everybody knows Crystal. Everybody loves Crystal. And um, I will link her pattern down below. Um, and I gave my wearable a name. Because this was made possible for doing it in the Starcraft Special DK. My friend over at uh, Lady with Loves, Lisa, and my other friend Lorna from Simply Doom. And the both of them gave me as a gift Starcraft Special DK. Lisa's are one in her December 24 hour um, live, and it was a giveaway during the live. I didn't even know I'm entering a giveaway. <gasps> And here I win, and I had a choice, and Starcraft Special DK. So I named my duster coat my Huggle. Lisa and Lorna, my Huggle coat. Yes, so I'm very well chuffed with my, with my wearable, I almost said wearable. <laughs> I want to talk Afrikaans and English together. So sorry. Then, I bought a new yarn um, I was commissioned to make a shawl for someone and I more or less had a color choice uh, but I had actually I had carte blanche so I bought Shebang it's from L a company here local to South Africa and it is very soft it is oh like crystal will say it's coughable but this is oh very soft and it's five percent nylon three percent polyester 13 percent viscose and 79 percent acrylic and this is this uh, well to me this is a dk it's a very thin yarn um and it's got Stellina in it. I don't know if you can maybe see the, the, the oh yes, you almost can see the, the sparkle there. And all these lovely flecks of color in the yarn. Um, oh, it's just 
fantastic to work with. Um, and the wearable, wearable, wearable I made was a shawl by Fiber Spider. I will also link him down below the pattern. This is his easy breezy shawl and I just love making this. It's such a lovely shawl to make. Um, let me just get the, the top part here. And it actually folds over on itself um, like a little collar. You can, f I'll just turn it around. There you go. There's the shawl. And if you turn it around, when you wear it, it makes like a little collar here at the back. So this is the shawl that I made with the shebang. And it is very, very soft. And the drape, it's lovely. It's really lovely. And um, the, the uh, yarn, they suggest a 4 millimeter hook. But I took a 5.5, which is very big for me. I mean, I love to work with a 3.5, 3.75, 4 maybe. To go to a 5.5, goodness gracious, very brave of me. But I did it. I did it. And it turned out lovely. So, yes. This is going to um, this lady, um, and I hope she's going to like her shawl. Then, another finished object. As you know, I make bags, project bags. I crochet them, and I started lining them as well. And I have one here that's finished. I can show you. This is the finished bag. It's got a sling like that, and then I, as always, I embellish it with my own handmade beads. And there, this is another one, and down below, a little handmade. And then, because it's a drawstring bag, um, just pull on the strings there. And then inside, I decided to go very um, cheerful. Pink polka dots. Yes. Actually, white polka dots on pink material. Yes. So, those of you that don't like pink, don't look inside. <laughs> there we go. And it's a bottom like that in the round. And there's your little project bag. And I have been asked, yes, I do make them on commission. And uh, my email um, will, my email address will be down below. If you maybe um, are interested in a bag, just shoot me an email and we can talk about it anytime. Then I've got another finished object. I have, oh, I am absolutely... A huge fan of Outlander and Anya over at Ophelia Talks she have a tutorial on the Brianna, Brianna capelet mm. oh and when I saw that oh, I just had to make it and luckily for me I had the yarn that Anya made it in and that's the Stylecraft Batik Swirl um, it's up here I'll just take it out and I held it together with Starcraft Emperor that this is made in. This is the special DK. There we go. And then this is the Starcraft Batik Swirl and the color here is Fox Glove. And this is 80% premium acrylic and 20% wool. Um, and the Needle size, they say here. Um, okay, they only give the knitting needles, but it's a four millimeter, so I presume it's a four in, in a crochet hook as well. I'm not sure, but I used a five and I held these two together. And then I made the Brianna cowl capelet. I still need to find the perfect um, shawl pin for it. Um, but I can show you. I'll just hold it together. 
this is the the little capelet. This is the capelet worked up in the batik swirl and then when I find the shawl pin it's going to be around about here I'm putting the shawl pin oh and it is so soft very very soft <laughs> love it love it love it then I'm still busy on my hook at the moment one of my uh, whips <laughs> I'm busy making another bag um, this one still needs the sling um, it's looking like this actually <laughs> looks like a little flower pot at the moment it still needs to be shin cinched and um, but it's a, a very colorful cheerful little bag and obviously I still need to do the lining and then do the, the cord this is the, I've finished the sling there's the sling there's the sling of the bag so this is nearly finished then it's uh, if i uh, not a whip anymore okay so that then i have another finished object yes i've been busy yes <laughs> um i have never knitted with beads and i bought myself a, a, a splurge a splurge a little uh hand out yarn um, it's merino and linen together yes and I unfortunately I don't know what I was thinking I can't seem to find the band to show you but this is the way that it worked up and there's my little beads and it's an asymmetrical shawl and uh, I was just practicing, 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 and um, then it goes narrow to the end. But I am well chuffed with my uh, attempt to uh, knit with with beads. As you can see, I still need to block this. This still needs to be blocked, but this is finished. Just need to be blocked, and. Uh, I just love, love, love the feeling. Normally when you have wool, it's a bit scratchy. But this is not scratchy at all. And the drape is lovely. And it was a pleasure to make. And I will definitely knit with beads again. Definitely. The beads just do something, you know, it's, it's something different. And uh, it does something to your, your uh, bees. And... Uh, Yes, I love it. Then you will be wondering, who's at the back of me here? I would you all uh, like to meet my co-host. And she's sporting also a shawl by Anya, Ophelia Talks Crochet. And I will link this pattern down below as well. This is called her Key Lane Shawl. And... Uh, Yes, I've knitted it. I love Anna's patterns. And um, so this year, my, my mannequin um, was a gift from a dear friend. And her name is Jolene. Now, normally it's easier to say Jolene, English Jolene. But her name is pronounced Jolene. And it's J-O-U-L-E-E-N. Jolene. And... What better I name to give my mannequin is Yolene. Meet Yolene and this is the, the um, key line shawl from Anya. Oh, Yolene, can I please have... Oh, there we go. And uh, please meet Yolene. There we go. She is sporting a very, very racy outfit. <laughs> but yes, so... From now on, um, Yolene will be um, doing the, the, the mannequin work here. And um, we just close her up. Oopsie. And she's very lightweight. I can take her anywhere. So there we go. There's Yolene. Okay, I'm back here with you guys. So I'm back here. Then you will wonder what is this here besides me? 
Well, the 23rd of April, a mystery call is starting over at Ophelia Talks Crochet. And I have the yarn. You can order it uh, from her blog, from my blog spot. I will link down that down below as well. And uh, then you order the yarn pack. And um, so the 23rd of April, a mystery cowl is starting. And I cannot wait. I am work as hard as I can to get all my work finished. Um, I don't think I will finish all my works. <laughs> I've got some quite a few on the go. Oh my word. Whenever I feel, oh, you know, when this heart of mine is not doing well, and uh, then I think, oh, then I start a new project. <laughs> naughty, I know. Yes, naughty. So, uh, um, so I won't be finishing all my works before the twenty third, but I'm trying to get as much done as possible for the twenty third of April when the mystery cow starts. And like I said, if you want to join in, all the details will be down below in the description box. Okay, so that is the mystery cow. Then I must just think I don't want to forget anything. Oh, so much has happened since I've last talked to you. Let me have a look. Oh, Nance Nick Knots. Yes, I've joined in Nance Nick Knots and I just love it. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, a YouTube, a fellow YouTuber, uh, Nan, has got the channel Nance Nick Knots and she have a crochet along at the moment. Uh, the um, luck of the draw and I decided I'm going to draw, uh, join in the luck of the draw um, and I'm making a, a baby blanket, a knee blanket um, nothing big uh, I also told you this before I love doing donation crochet and what a fun way to fill my box to do these crochet alongs and then I can just fill them in my donation box. So, without any further ado, let me show you my Nance Nick Knots Luck of the Draw. And I just love this. Um, we made a little card. So you choose your eight colors. And then she throws numbers in a hat. And then every Thursday... She goes and then she picks a number and then that number, you look at what number you gave your yarn. So this is my, all my yarn that I'm using. This is my color range. And then this is the numbers here. So when she draws a number, I just go to the number that she drawn and that will be your next color. And then you have a main color and I opted for uh, a porcelain color yeah, right down below yeah it's not it's uh, uh, um, not really as you know brilliant white um, it's white but not brilliant white and I love it it's a soft soft white okay so here's my I'm just gonna keep it folded and uh, this is my nine next knots this week we draw uh, the first color that we draw was this color of mine was my turquoise splash and so the last draw was that number again so it's repeating and I chosen to do um, let me keep it like this that you can see yeah, yes you can see there's a, a cross stitch I just do um, half double crochets and then on my color I do half double crochet and then cross stitch and half double crochet again and then my main color and then I have to wait for the next week oh, I cannot wait for Thursdays to see oh, what is the new color going to be and then when I'm finished when the cow is, is all done I am going to do a border but I still I'm still thinking about which border I would like to do and I'm doing this blanket um, I don't know I don't think you guys abroad have this yarn um, it's called Pulskin 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 and it's from L our a local yarn company I'm just taking out one of the um, skins here 
get all the dinger malaris inside there we go it's sports game and it's a double net double net um it's thin yarn as you can see i love my thin yarns um i struggle with this with the thicker yarns i love my thin yarns and uh, this is 100 percent acrylic and it works up wonderfully it's very soft um very very soft you can uh, wear this without anything underneath it won't scratch and uh, like i say it crochets lovely really i can recommend um, this Polsky and then i couldn't find the variegated color which i like in pool skin so i bought it's a very big ball of yarn <laughs> it's called charity it's also local to us and this got it's a 300 gram 699 meters on 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 a skin on a ball and um this is my the, the variegated and I just love it and luckily for me um, the thickness of this yarn and the pool skin works together so that's good that all works out wonderfully and um, it's, it's a it's a very um, versatile yarn um, easy to care for machine washable um, but they say do not uh, iron um, but I mean who wants to iron your yarn we don't want to iron our yarn especially um, it's gonna melt <laughs> and it's also a full skin but from charity and uh, yes I love my um, the variegation of this yarn so I've shown you all the colors that I'm using there we go I think they all work very well together love it and uh, so that is Nan's next knot and I cannot wait for Thursday to see what I'll be doing let me just put in my crochet needle yeah oh and yes that's another thing mm. I have been wanting higher higher crochet hooks for the longest and with my mystery cowl my hooks came with and I couldn't be more pleased it was well worth the, the wait um, I don't think you're going to see here at the back oh no I can't see uh, oh I can't see how can you see oh no you won't be able to see these it's just about it's the higher higher crochet hook and this is it glides through the yarn like a hot mouth through butter there's no snagging I love the tip there's nothing here that snags um, it's lightweight doesn't hurt my hand it was well worth the wait really I, I couldn't be more pleased and I'm trying to build up my higher higher collection um, I would love to buy I'm actually waiting for <laughs> for my parcel to arrive I uh, bought 2.75 knitting circulars knitting needles um, online and I'm waiting in anticipation for my knitting needles to arrive so yes I'm trying to build my collection of Haya Haya <laughs> very proud very chuffed so that was all the crochet and the knitting and now we can get to my beads that I uh, put as embellishments on my project bags um, you know I do stitch markers as well apart from jewelry uh, wire wrap bracelets necklaces oh, I embellish my dream catches and sun catches with them and uh, so I thought I'll show you a couple more of my stitch markers that I have been making I just put these on a little card now um, these are more knitting um, stitch markers two, three of them, it's got a clasp and then two of them are just for knitting 
when you pass your um, stitch marker over. Oh, this is more a, a bad jewelry type of one. This, yeah, this is more the, the, the knitting one because it's just got a little loop. So there's some of some of the stitch markers. And um, then I thought, wait, let me show you. These are in the process of being made. And I thought I'm going to show you. This is them raw. Raw like in... This, this is just the paper being rolled and held by glue at the moment. And they are busy drying. And this is just normal white paper that I painted. And then, so this is the first stage. Okay, now I've done this and this is now waiting for the next process. These are in the process of being processed. <laughs> These are, um, they are on the next step. Some of them are already um, are made like these here. This is embossing powder and then I melt it with my heat gun. Um, this over here is glazed with a little bit of glitter. I don't know if you can see the glitter there. So this is the next process, the next stage. And then over here, <coughs> sorry, over here, oh, I can show you this as well. These are some more being in, in the following process of being made. I can just turn them around. And then I started thinking of polymer clay. And polymer clay, if you do it in small quantities, can be very lightweight because we don't want anything heavy hanging off our crochet or knitting. And these are also in the process of, but these are like polymer clay, like water droplets. And I think they're going to work quite well being made into stitch markers. And I mean, I can do them in, in the jewelry as well, but this is now specifically modeled with the thought of making them into stitch markers. So polymer clay is also on the menu. And then I've got here, these are, this is the next stage. After I've, they are already being uh, processed and now they are on their way to get the little clasps on. on. So this is all uh, paper beads, very lightweight. And the next step, they're going to get their little clasps, they're going on the card, and then they're going to the owner. Talking about owner, again, yes, I do sell my stitch markers, and you can reach me in, on my email down below if you're interested in purchasing some. If you also would like to try Ingrid's Inspirations stitch markers or project bag or anything. Well, guys, it feels like I've raced through <laughs> everything, but I really had to get this done. Um, it was long, 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 long overdue. I'm so sorry. I'll try and be better. And again, thank you each and everyone for subscribing to me, sticking with me, even if I'm not on that often. Uh, I try to. And... Um, Thank you from the bottom of my heart, really. I appreciate it. If, if it weren't for you guys um, willing to watch my videos and comment on them, I wouldn't be able to do Ingrid's Inspirations. Thank you for watching my C videos that I take you on, on an outing. Um, I know the last one you guys also enjoyed when I went to Kwaivate. Um Oh, that's a lovely place. Yes, and I do get a lot of inspiration um, going to the beach, sitting by the rocks, just gathering my thoughts. It inspires me. Um, 
and obviously the colors um, they as you can see with these uh, polymer clay beads that I just showed you the other day that when we went to uh, the beach the water was this beautiful Mediterranean blue and then the deeper it goes in it went up dark 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 and I just thought oh I can see water droplets and stitch markers <laughs> and that is where those came about so yes and I do plan on taking you to our penguin sanctuary here locally um, they was COVID now um, they were the doors were closed to the public um, but I think they're opening up now so one of these days I'll take you to the penguin sanctuary definitely so this is all I have for the moment as you can see I'm building my my yarn wall I'm, I'm in the beginning still but I am trying to to build a little bit of a stash definitely and um, also we had renovations here at the at the house and at the moment my yarn room is in my room my actual room um, <laughs> but as soon as all the renovations is done and I can now move into the real room where my all my craft things is supposed to go then all of this will go to that room and then you'll have a better view of what's behind me at the moment it's my door and everything but I just thought oh, I'll give you a little a little peek into my yarn wall thank you so much for watching and remember to take care of yourself take care of each other be blessed stay blessed until next time thank you so much for watching love you lots bye bye guys till next time bye